Hey guys, it's Ernie here with the Vagabond Expedition Jeep. Just wanted to show you guys today how easy it is to add a electrical circuit. We've gone ahead and opened the hood. Uh, all you need to do is pick up one of these little fellows. It's uh, a simple add a circuit fuse tap. And you can get these, uh, most automotive shops will sell these things. Uh, Canadian Tire here in Canada, probably Walmart even. Uh, or you can go to the uh, ever popular Amazon.com and grab these. Just watch how much you are. You can pay $15 for one of these in a store, or you can go to Amazon and grab five or ten of them for $10, roughly a dollar a piece. So, anyway, we've opened the hood. Uh, fuse block is right here. All you have to do is squeeze these two tabs in, just like so, and your fuse panel will open up. So, you'll see I've already got and add a circuit in here and it's plugged in over here and what this thing looks like out of the package and all hooked up is it looks like a fuse but it's got a spot for two fuses in here and it's got the wire coming off so this wire is your new circuit and in your fuse box because it is weather sealed there's a small hole down in here you can see that right in beside this relay there's a small hole in here and I fished a 16 gauge wire through there so that's going to my accessory circuit this particular circuit that I'm using um, switches on and off with the accessory position of the key not run not ignition anything like that but it goes with accessory and then obviously when the vehicle's running it's also live so which item that is is right back here and you can see it we've got this fuse this fuse and then this spot here it originally comes with a 20 amp fuse and that is is m6 which is 20 amp power outlet number one accessory and rain sensor so again that one switches on and off for me with the key in the accessory position it runs down through this hole and I have it folded up in here, just tucked like that. Fuse box then closes, snaps closed, keep the weather, the, the weather sealing intact. And I have that going into the Jeep uh, for various other electrical. Uh, it doesn't let me run lights, um, air compressor, things like that without the Jeep in at least the accessory position. Heavy draw things like the air compressor or a winch, you definitely wouldn't want to run unless your Jeep is actually running. And for that, what you can do is again, looking at our panel here, is there is another one called M9. And that one is rear heated seat. Now that one in our Jeep, we look at our layout, which is over here. is one, two, three from the left, and the last one down in that particular column, M9. So one, two, three, and the last one in the column. So on my Jeep, it comes empty. So I could put an Adafuse circuit in there, and that one actually doesn't turn on until the Jeep is actually running. So what you can do now with your out-of-circuit fuse tab, is take that line and like I said you've got now either or or an and if you run two of them circuits that are switched with your Jeep in either accessory or ignition which is running using those two feeds those are a positive 12 volt using those two feeds you can then control various relays and items in your Jeep so there are pros and cons to these things uh, pros are it's quick it's easy it's relatively clean cons are if something goes wrong you could ruin a good portion of your fuse panel just by overloading things and causing things to overheat possibly catch fire melt etc so you definitely don't want to overload these things uh, I'm gonna say 10 amp is probably lots on your accessory circuit could be wrong you might be able to get a little bit more of course that also depends on the gauge of wire you use you need to ensure that you're using the right gauge of wire for your application plus where it's going you can't take a, a 10 gauge wire and drop it down to a 22 gauge wire somewhere else and say all's good you've got to 
factor in those loads of your electrical system. So you don't want to overload this thing. What I do in the Jeep is I have those come run out, then I have them go to a higher current relay switching system. So when the key's an accessory, a relay clicks on based on this circuit here, and then I can run a higher load through that. Or I could add extra relays. There's a relay that goes to the air compressor. There's relays that go to light, different light groups, things like that. So you need to break up your circuit to make sure you don't overload it and you're doing things safely under here. So that's, that's about it. Pros are, it's nice and clean, fits in here under the hood, under the fuse panel, and you've got an extra circuit and just a matter of plugging it in. Uh, the cons are, you've got to make sure you don't overload the thing. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you've got any questions.